Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another wonderful, webulous episode of Project Zomboid. We, uh, last episode, toyed around with construction, because the episode prior, we did a lot of, uh, scavenging and food running. And we are back now, and we did a little bit of construction last time after reading a book, obviously, that upped our construction skill. And we actually got a, a point in construction. In construction itself, as I hiccup at you, as I randomly tend to do every once in a while. It's relatively obnoxious, but... It is getting late, so we're going to have to get our character in bed, of course. And uh, I'm curious what it is I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm thinking after we eat a lemon for dinner, because lemon, delicious. Um, let's let's take a look. Let's, let's head upstairs. Let's get ourselves in bed. And then we'll take a look at our options in the morning. Um, it'll be... I am in pain. Why am I in pain? Slight damage. Is it because I carried too much? Did I overwork myself? That could have been it, to be honest with you. Um, we do have painkillers, so we can take ourselves a painkiller. Take pills. There we go. And uh, that'll tick down now. Or at least be in check in some, in some way. And we'll sleep. Yes, we do want to sleep. We're getting anxious, so we're in pain, so our character is sick. Oh no, we're sick. We could have worked him. We probably worked him too hard. That's the problem. Unless that lemon was rotten, which I don't think it was. Um, so we're in agony right now. We need to take some more painkillers, take some more pills. Um, let's go get some food. And we'll just take the day nice and easy. We won't do anything that's going to get us in trouble. I was carrying around a lot of heavy stuff, which is not necessarily a good thing in general when you're trying to do any sort of construction. Um, but it's... Uh, we're in pain, so that, that's something to be a little bit afraid of. We're getting sicker. We're nauseous now. We're getting a little bit bored. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to take a couple pills in hopes that that helps us. We're hurting, obviously. You can see we can't carry as much uh, because we're sick. We're getting hungry. Um, we're only nauseous, which is a good sign. We're not going up any higher than that. Oh, it just went up. Now we are sick. That's not a good situation for us. So we're going to put some pills away. We're going to put the axe away. We're taking it easy. We're not going to do anything that's going to cause us any problems. We have to have been... It must... I can only... The only thing I can think of is that... Um, eat some ice cream. Always eating ice cream when you're sick is always a good sign. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that we just overworked ourselves. We just overworked ourselves and now we're paying the price for it. Which sucks. Um, but we are hopefully gonna be able to fight this off I, I'm a little bit nervous we're increasing danger of death god damn it this is not a good thing equipping the hammer we can't carry as much damn it let's just sleep and hopefully we don't die I mean okay we fought it off now we're hungry pain is going down alright we just got sick for a couple days thank god um, that was incredibly scary. That was incredibly scary. <laughs> what that did, unfortunately, was force us to go through some of our food. Um. Damn. That, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I was, I thought for a minute I was gonna die. I really did. Uh, let's eat some soda pop for breakfast. Let's go grab our axe back. Put that back in our inventory. There we go it as our primary and uh, we will we will refill our water bottle and then we'll wait for daytime damn that was scary yeah we're, we're not gonna stress anymore thank goodness we're agitated now which is not a big deal all right all right not bad you I can it has to be it has to be the fact that we were overworking ourselves right it's the only thing that makes sense where'd the wall go the wall teleport? The wall must have teleported away. That's something that's going to be fixed in the new release, is the wall being teleported away. Um, but since we went through a little bit of food, god damn it, we're going to have to go and, and run a couple of supply runs, unfortunately. We're going to eat some chocolate to kill off this depression, which I can't even remember where I put it. There it is. Eat. It helps with our depression. And we should have something we can kind of write in here. We can read the journal. <coughs> somebody, it was somebody's journal. Oh god, we read somebody's journal. 
That'll be awesome if that ever gets to the point where there's actual stuff in it. Alright. Well, since we went through some food and stuff, I think it's about time we head back out and try and do a little bit more scavenging. Um, there is still that suburban area down here that we need to go back and kind of top off or finish off because we did end up leaving some beef jerky, I think, is what we said. Somebody said we we left some beef jerky down there. So let's just go kind of finish it and empty it all out. Maybe kill off a couple of zombies on the way. Um, picking them off one by one. There's a, There was a horde over here last time. I'm a little nervous just in case there's still a horde over there. They could have moved. Nope, they're still there. Had to, I had to get in, in, in view of them, essentially. That's what I was going for. Down. We'll kill one more. See what they had on them, if anything. Yikes. And we got them in one shot, which is awesome. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Okay. Alright. So let's uh, get back in here and see where exactly or what exactly we may or may not have missed. Is that radish rotten? It is rotten. If it doesn't say rotten in front of it immediately, I get confused. Simple man and all. I could take the sledgehammer. It's tempting. You know what? Let's grab it. And the nails. Let's pack it up. Let's bring it home. We have to... Oh, wow. We did, forgot to pack up the planks and everything, too. Alright, let's bring it home. Let's head back. We'll drop off the sledgehammer. We'll come back. I think that's going to be a good grab. We're going to need to knock out some walls and stuff. Um, the problem is with the teleportation, the teleporting walls in general worry me, because I did put a wall down, I did spend that four, and put a wall down, so, um, it should still be there, but it's not. Here we go. It's kind of obnoxious, a little bit annoying, unless I'm completely missing where I put it, but I don't think I did. Pretty sure I put it right behind the house and was put it right there. But it is not there, teleporting walls and all. Again, yeah, that's, that's the other reason I don't want to start farming, because that can happen. It is somewhere on the map, essentially. It is, uh, as far as I understand how the bug works, uh, somewhere on the map, my, uh, is where I, is where the, uh, wall went to. It's just, upon reloading, it ends up going random places. A couple planks we'll put in there as well. The saw we can do, too. Pack everything up. Then we'll go see if we can get some food out and about. All right, so we're, we're still alive. That's good. Our, our situation is good. This is probably one of the better runs I've had in a long time, and it's getting me to think, you know, what do I need to do? What's the next step I need to take? And I think scavenging more food is probably the best option we have. All right, there we go. I really do. I think that's probably the next best bet. I'd love to keep building, but we also did test out that building walls, we just don't build good walls yet anyway. Well, it might not be worth building a new wall yet. It might not be worth it. Building a floor or a pathway or something, you know, upping my skill in that way, building wooden sticks and all that stuff, that might be the, just the best option for us. Let's... Let's check in here. I know I've been in here. I definitely remember being in here. I just... I like to make sure. All right. How about this house right here? Door's not open. Back door is. This could have been one of the places I was just looking. I didn't have enough space in my, uh... Yeah. Wow, they haven't rotted. That's awesome. We'll take those. See? Good. It's worth coming in here. You were guys were being all naysayers. I heard you over there, Mathis. You've already been in here. Once you see the door in the back opened, this just justifies my revisitation of homes. It means I have to do it. All right, let's head back into uh, the suburban area over here. See if we can pull a few more useful resources out. Whoops. Potentially just drew a bunch of dudes. So let's just draw them over this way. Whoa. Hey, guys. Man, they are so loud. So creepy. Come on. Come on. And what I'll do is just start taking sharp turns around corners and stuff. And swing out the back door over here. There we go. Nice and easy. And here we go. Not only do we pull them away, which is uh, important, 
Um, but we got through. We got them kind of dispersed and probably lost among some of the houses over there. Alright. Let's see. What did I leave behind? Beef jerky. Thank you. Rotten tomato. Unfortunate. No shower zombies. Some nails we could take. I like this cots in here. I like that a lot. It shows that there were people surviving here at some point. Um, nothing in here. Could swing out back here and see what's over here. There are some houses. Though we might want to end up spending the night out here just because we are pretty far away from home. Ah. Down you go. We will, in the process, eat this tomato before it goes bad. Delicious. And we'll come kill this guy and check this house. Come on. Or chick. That guy. Nice. One shot, one kill. Magazine. We'll take it. We need boredom killers every now and again, as you're aware. Alright, we've been in here, obviously. But, we might have left some stuff behind. Uh, coffee. Nah, not gonna take the coffee. Is there a potentially... We should check the bookshelves, too. Make sure we, there's no carpentry books that we're ditching. Whoa. Sneaking in here. Nothing. Nothing. Carrots. Milk. All that's rotten. Bookshelves. I mean, we'll take another magazine, sure. Useful. Oop. Nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. Like I said, we're going to probably end up spending the night uh, amongst these buildings. We have at least this one that's safe over here. Uh, what I want to do is see if I can kill off these three or four or ten zombies. Um, whoa. More than that. Damn it, I thought there was only a handful I was going to be able to get through, but I'm not. Keep our eye on your back. Nothing there. Alright. One more. Upping our skill in the process. Down you go. Nothing. Alright, don't want to exhaust ourselves swinging there, because we got locked in that combat animation. Let's head up this way just a little bit, see if there's anything up here we can kind of search. Whoop, a little horde over there. And see if there's anywhere we can spend the night safely. We might just want to spend the night in here, to be honest with you. Bread, carrots, I've already, I definitely have been here, I'm pretty sure. I was probably here just a second ago. Alright, let's just spend the night in here. Meh. I hear the whispering of a zombie. Yeah, good thing they made noise, because I, I was like, I swear I healed it, I hear them. Okay, good thing I heard it, because I would have probably gotten eaten in my sleep. Which we definitely don't want to do. We'll pull a sheet out. And we'll sheet up the window, just in case. Let's go out this way. Add sheet. There we go. And there's gunfire. Shit. Let's hopefully they don't come in here. Oh god. Yeah, let's get out of here. Fuck. God, they're like right outside the house. Oh shit! Holy crap. Let's get out of there. Run. Could probably try and head home, be safe at home. Might be the best option for us. Damn, I was gonna spend the night so we could continue searching in the morning, but it looks like that is not gonna happen. At least not right now. Run home, just run home. It's a lot of wasted time, a couple of in-game hours or so. Maybe a little bit less. Still a lot of wasted time. Why is this, why do I not leave this back door open? One zombie there. Luckily it was only one pistol shot and it seems it didn't attract a huge number. But still. You know, still obnoxious. Oh no, am I lost? Oh no, there's my house. I'm like, I swear I'm going the right way. Oh well. We'll get home, we'll call it safe. And we'll call it here. Thank you guys for watching. 
As always, I appreciate it. Any support you can lend me on this series and, and whatnot is always greatly appreciated. And I will see you all next time.